What's up guys, it's Matt aka The One Handy Gamer and welcome back to another tech video. Well, DJI has had a live stream earlier today and have announced the Phantom 3. So today we're going to take a look at some of the specs of the Phantom 3. Throughout the rest of this video, I'll be showing pictures of the Phantom 3 on the screen. Now I've got to say, this looks like a really, really cool drone. It's roughly the same size as the Phantom 2, but it's a, it's a tad smaller. First off, the Phantom 3 will come in two different versions, a Pro version and an Advanced version. The Pro version has a 4K camera and the Advanced version has a 1080p camera. Now on the Pro version, the 4K camera can shoot up to 30 frames per second or 24, but on the Advanced version with the 1080p camera, it can shoot up to 60 frames per second and 1080p. Both cameras have a 12 megapixel sensor and are capable of shooting DNG raw stills, which is pretty cool. And unlike the Vision Plus model and GoPros, the camera will have a 94 degree field of view compared to the Vision Plus 140 degree field of view, so there will be no distortion and no curved horizon. Both versions of the Phantom 3 will have larger motors compared to the Phantom 2 and will be able to connect to more satellites thanks to more advanced software. Also the flight time on the Phantom 3 has been improved over the Phantom 2. It is now able to do 23 plus minutes. Again, we do not have a real world, world comparison. This is just what DJI is telling us right now. So. 23 plus minutes, that's a pretty good time, you know, probably do the 80% rule and get 17, 18 minutes, I'm guessing. So it's right in the same range as the Phantom 2, but we'll see when we someone actually gets to fly the drone and we'll get to see the actual flight time of the battery. It will use the new pilot app, just like the Inspire one, and you'll be able to manually control the camera. And also you'll be able to live stream directly from the quadcopter to YouTube. Which, I mean, that's pretty cool, I guess, but I can't really see what kind of situation you actually use that in. But I'm sure, I'm sure when people start getting it and using it, people will some, find some creative way to use it. Which, you know, I wish I could use it, you know, you know, if one of, the, one of the dealer or retailer wants to send me a Phantom 3, that'd be cool. And I could make some videos on it. Just saying. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Anyways guys, there's going to be a new director's app which allows you to edit videos directly from the, the quad and also put music to it which is pretty cool but I'd, you know, I'd rather use Adobe After Effects or Premiere or something like that. And also there's going to be a new uh, section that you can log your flights into the app and also a flight simulator app which is pretty cool if you can't go outside and fly say it's raining you can get in a little practice on the flight simulator which is a pretty cool added feature so i think that's it guys i've covered all the specs and if i didn't i left a link below to an awesome article about the phantom 3 and uh, there's still a lot we actually don't know yet we don't know how long the battery times are gonna be and we really don't know how good the 4k camera is gonna be even though they released a, a video with 4k we actually don't know the actual quality of it because you know they hire you know awesome color graders to make the footage look amazing we're not gonna know the, how good the camera looks until users start flying around and posting videos on YouTube, we're not going to know. But technically, it's it's going to be a good camera because it's the same camera that's in the Aspire one, and that is an amazing camera. And we don't know how well the gimbal go is going to work, uh, or if there's going to be a Gro GoPro version. I'm sure they'll probably release that down the line. Still, a lot of questions we're going to ask. And another thing, the prices. Prices on this are the pro version is around $1,300 $1, and the advanced version is right right about $1,000 which you know really that's a pretty good uh, price for such an awesome piece of uh, tech but again there's a lot of other drones that's launching over the next several months so we'll get to see how the Phantom 3 compares to the Hubson X4 Pro, aka the Aura, and that's retailing around 1300 I believe. Hopefully I'll get to review that. Also, uh, 
was it Max Arrow is launching pretty soon. We'll get to see uh, footage from that coming up at NAV. Again, NAV, NAV is the 13th through the 16th. So expect to see probably some other drone launches coming during NAV. Also, 3D Robotics has announced that they're going to be launching a drone on March, not March, April the 13th, which is the, this Monday that's coming out right at the start of NAV, NAV. Again, I'm pretty sure other companies will be showcasing all kinds of awesome drone tech at NAV. So stay tuned for that. If you guys want to see some more drone videos, be sure to subscribe and like this video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed, and until next time, I'll catch you in the next one.